Good afternoon everyone. So today I'm in the New Forest National Park. In particular, I'm next to the White Moor and also to the Fox uh, Hill Moor. Now the reason I'm here is I'm doing my dissertation studies and I'm basically counting every single type of species, um, which is typical to heathlands, but I've also got a few others in the mix. And I'm going to compare them and see how management techniques affect this <laughs> so anyway so at the moment i am in love with these two plants coluna vulgaris erica tetralix or more commonly known as heather and cross-leaf teeth now in the specific area i'm looking at there is actually two these two things here which i'm really happy about now it's really easy to identify these two you just have to do get a few practices in so you can know how to do it now i'm right next to a patch here um this is um cross leaf heath now it is quite easy to spot because the flowers go all the way down the stem no this is ling heather sorry <laughs> this is ling or this is a type of heather called ling <laughs> sorry about that um and it's really easy to spot because the, the flowers kind of go down a little bit and they're clustered you know around the stem and the sort of stem's quite woody and it's lovely now there's also another type here which is lovely my my camera case and the gorse <laughs> um so that is a sort of cross leaf heath you can tell because the leaves are quite crossy um, the bell heather would be at the top and displayed, but this is like everywhere, so it's really beautiful. Um, yeah, but there's the gorse. Um, now, cross leaf heath and bell heather are sometimes mixed up. Now, this is because they are the flowers are very similar in shape. They're both bell like, <laughs> and um, they're both quite bright and vibrant. Well, most he heather is really <laughs> in the sheer like space of things. Um, but the way you have to determine them is like bell heather is quite clustered at the top, whereas cross leaf teeth they're sort of in sort of clumps, but they're not splayed, which is the way I describe them. They're kind of more in a compacted area. Yeah, so this is what I've been up to, and this is the amazing scenery, which is just superb. The only issue is, <laughs> the weather's not amazing and I'm feeling a bit ill, which is amazing, but, <laughs> but anyway, I thought I'd do a little short video of saying what I'm doing and why I haven't been really doing any editing or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I've been doing this all week. So yeah, I'll catch you later.